Dear grade 11 learners, my name is Mapule Mulabe. I'm the founder of Grow in Maths. I tutor Maths and Science, but today we will be looking at Mathematics for grade 11, uh, which is part of term 3. Uh, today we're looking at measurements. So we're first going to start looking at the grade 10 uh, revision to remind you on the basics uh, about measurements before we go into complicated stuff. Right, so we've got something called surface area. A surface area is the sum of the areas of each face that makes up the surface of a prism. So you are actually just adding up all the, the areas for all the faces of that 3D object. So if you look at this, this is your, it's, it's a right prism. It has a front, so this is your front. So that's like our front area. And then it has a back. So let's say that part is our back. So I'll highlight it that way. So it, it's like a box. So it has a front, it has a back. It also has a bottom and top. So this is the top. If you look here, that's our top. And then it has a bottom. So that's the bottom. I hope you can see where I'm highlighting. So that's the bottom part. It has sides. So it has a right hand side. So this is our right hand side. I won't highlight all of it just for you to see because I don't have enough colors. And then it also have a, right, a left, sorry, a left side. So a prism, a right, a right prism is just like a box or a cube. It has six sides, front, back, top, bottom, left and right, as shown here on the, on the picture. So we've got, it has a length. So as you can see here, that's our length. It has a breadth. So that's the breadth. It has the height. So that's how long is the box? That's the length. How wide is the box? That's the breadth. How high does it go? That's your height, which we can abbreviate it with L, B, or height. Okay. So your surface area, you do, you add up the area of all the faces. So this box, it has six faces, front, back, top, bottom, left, and right. So you, you, you calculate the area of each face and then you add them up. So let's see. Remember, area, these faces are in a form of what? These faces are like rectangles. Okay. So we're adding up area of a rectangle. So the area, the surface area for this is going to be, um, okay, let me not do it there. Let's do it at the bottom. So the surface area, it will be, yeah, surface area, it will be area of the first face, front, plus area of the back face, plus area of the top face plus area of the bottom face. Okay, just hang on. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's do it again. My screen was moving. So we set the surface area is area of the front plus area of the back plus area of the top plus area of the bottom face plus area of the right face plus area of the left face okay 
And if you see all these faces, these are rectangles put together. So the box is made up of rectangles that are put together. What is the area of a rectangle? You do know from uh, your lower uh, grade that area of a rectangle is a length and spread. So if you look at the first one, that's the area of the of the front. So what is the area of the front? This is our front. Okay, area is length times breadth. What is the length of our front? It's length, it's L. What is the breadth for the front? Can you see the breadth is a height in this case? So that's the first area, that's for the front. And then area of our back. This is our back face. Okay. So it's a rectangle. So what is the length of that of the back? Can you see it's still length? Because if it's a if this is a right rectangular prism, that is also an L there. Okay. And then what is the breadth? Can you see the breadth is the height? This is still height at the back, the height of the box. So this area is length times height. Okay. Then plus area of the bottom. Okay. So where is our bottom? Here is our bottom. Okay. What is the length of the bottom? It is L. What is the breadth of our bottom? It is B. Okay, so that's that. The next one, area of the top. Where is our top? Okay, so this is our top face. Okay, so what is the length of that? Can you see this is the length at the top? And what is this? This is the breadth. Okay, so that's length times B. Okay, plus we did um that was the top then we need sides what is the area of the side let's look at the left let's look at the right we started with the right so let's look at the right what is the length of the light of the of our right can you see this is the length which is b what is the what is the breadth can you see the breadth of this becomes it is the h in this case so that's b times h so that's the area of that right face then the last one is going to be the left where is our left face here is our left face okay dimensions for the left face can you see what is the length the length is the breadth here and then what will be the breadth it will be the h okay so that is b times h okay so this are the surface area is we you add up all the uh, areas for all your faces okay so it's all the areas for the faces of the 3d object so and then now if you look at this can you see we've got common or like terms we have lh we have lh can you see that makes two if we add them up that's two lh okay plus do we have another like term let's see we have lb lb so that's two length times breadth or two two lb we have bh and bh that's two bh okay so the surface area, all it means is you sum up the area of all the faces of that object. Okay, so hope that makes sense. All right, so now let's move on to your volume. Okay, uh, okay, just one more thing. A surface area is always measured in units, uh, in square units. So you measure, if you're not given units like centimeters, millimeters, always give it square, unit squared. Okay, so that is the unit for surface area. So you can't just leave it as a, as a number, you need to give it units. If it doesn't have centimeters, then you call it unit squared. 
Okay, so that's that. Let's move on. Okay, now we move on to volume. A volume is the space taken up by the 3D object. It is actually uh, the bottom, if you look at the box, it's the bottom area multiplied by how high or how far can the, the 3D object be filled. So, let's make the box here so you can see the back and the bottom part and then it will make sense. Okay. So, your surface area. Okay. So, you fill up your bottom. Okay. Let's change the color here. You fill up this bottom, right? It's like when you're filling up, let's say you're filling up this box with water. Which area is going to fill is go, which area is going to be touched by the water or which area is going to be filled up first it's going to be the bottom so your volume is the area you start filling first and then you multiply it by how far or how high will that box be filled up so is this area multiplied by the height height is how far would it be filled up so Volume is area of the bottom surface multiplied by how high, which is the height. And what is the area of our bottom surface? Can you see the area, the surface, the bottom surface? What kind of a surface? Can you see this is a rectangle? So, a area of a rectangle is what? It's length times breadth. And then multiply by how, how high would it be filled if we were to fill it up? So the volume of a rectangular prism is LBH. Okay, so that's simple as that. So volume is basically the bottom area where you're filling it up and how far will it go if you keep filling the whole box. So that's a volume. Okay, so now let's look at an example. Okay, so you are given this rectangular uh, prism below. It has a length. Can you see 10 centimeters? That's the length of this box. It has a breadth. So B is 4 centimeters. And then it has a height. Can you see the 5 is the height actually? Okay, so those are the dimensions for this rectangular prism or for this box. So you are asked to determine the surface area of the prism. We just find the formula. So we said the surface area is what? It's 2 times LB plus 2 times BH plus 2 times LH. Okay. Is your two the two is for front and back, the other two back and oh, is the the first two the first one is for front and back, and then the other one is for top and bottom, the other one is for left and right. So those are the areas for all your six faces. So that is that. So what is our so we have a two? What is our length? Our length is ten centimeter. How much is our breadth? It's four. Okay, plus 2 times breadth is 4 centimeters, height is 5. So you just substitute the, the values that you are given. So 2 times length is 10, height is 5. Okay, then let's calculate 2 times 10 times 4. So that's 20 times 4, that's 80. Plus times 4 is 8 times 5 is 40 plus 2 times 10 is 20 times 5 is 100 okay if we add this up it looks like it's gonna give us 220 
Okay, apologies about that. Oh, we are here. Here's our screen. Right, so it's giving us 0.0. 